if you are in grades 9 through 12, um, you may be interested in joining FBLA at Bellevue High School, Future Business Leaders of America. To learn more about that, on my website, mrsweber.net, click the FBLA link. Um, go ahead and scroll down a little bit, and right here you can see if you'd like to sign up for Bellevue FBLA, you can click that link and you'll be brought to a sign-up form. Um, go through and, and fill this out. Um, and then bring $15 to Mrs. Weber, to me, and then you are in. Um, you can follow at Bellevue FBLA on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. A um, little bit about FBLA. Uh, at Bellevue, we, uh, we try to attend the Student Fall Leadership Conference, um, which is in Des Moines, uh, usually in October. And uh, that conference is a motivational conference where students attend workshops and, and uh, do fun activities with other students from across the state. Um, it typically runs on a, on a Sunday. We would leave on a Sunday morning and come back. We uh, should be back by Monday um, afternoon in time for practices. Um, so at that conference, like I said, we see motivational speakers. For instance, at Bellevue High School, we've... Um, had Aaron Thomas come speak. Uh, we also had a, a couple people come talk about uh, money-oriented things, financial management. Um, those speakers were we initially heard at the State Fall Leadership Conference. So it's a fun one. You get to meet students from all over the state and uh, learn some things in different workshops about college or um, high school or other things too. They're always different topics. Um, then the big thing, uh, we go to state in the spring um, and when we go to state in the spring you will sign up for two national events and one state event okay the national events um, the examples descriptions score rubrics and everything are here the state events are here in this embedded document so to decide which events you would like to do if you click this link It'll bring you to the National e e uh, Conference Events Reference Guide, and you can see there's all different kinds of events, okay? You can do just an objective test where you take a written test. There's team performance events, production and objective tests. I mean, these are all different kinds of um, uh, events that you can compete in. So if I click on objective tests, you can see, you know, if I'm really good in accounting, it's an objective test, I might take this. So. I might click accounting one and then it will tell me competencies that I'll be um, uh, judged on um, right here competency um, there it is again and then there's also sample event materials and I believe these would be like sample test questions yep so those are the written tests and you can see there's a whole bunch of them here agribusiness computer problem solving Health Administration, Intro to Business, um, Microsoft Office Specialist Excel and Word. We've performed very well in those in the past. So those are some events that, um, that would just require you to sit and take a written exam. Okay, uh, I'm going to close that. Um, there's also team performance events. Um, Life Smarts is an online event and it is a, is a team event virtual business challenge same thing I have access to those and if you're interested in in doing those you know click it so you can read the description um, and then let me know and I can hook you up with that uh, production and objective tests we Bellevue has performed very well in these events in the past last year um, Nicole Hoxmeyer placed first in computer applications and she qualified to go to Atlanta Georgia for that Last year, Jacob Retz uh, got first place in database design and applications. Uh, Mason Lyons got second place in spreadsheet applications. And in the past, we've had several people qualify in word processing also. So if you've taken advanced computer apps, these might be classes or uh, events that you would choose to compete in. Um, if you're in ADM 122, word processing would be a really good one for you to think about doing so okay then I'm gonna scroll down here and basically what happens I guess with these 
um, I need to tell you that um, you would take a production test, like a hands-on test, at Bellevue High School that Mr. Jess would um, administer, and then when we go to state, then you would sit and take the objective test part. Okay, and so you can see here sample event materials. I'm going to click on uh, spreadsheet applications. And then these would be some questions that would be asked on the written part of the exam. Uh, and more questions, it looks like. So that's the written exam part. So some things to consider there that we've performed in very well in, in the past. Uh, Prejudged reports and presentation events. Um, last year we had students compete in... I guess for this one, only in a community service project, McKinley Rader and Tara uh, Linden uh, performed that at state. Um, our officers um, for FBLA, which I'll let you know about here in a minute, but um, they several of them are in charge of these events. Um, so if you'd like to, you know, work on one of these after you've read about it by clicking the name and then looked at the prejudge report and presentations event and then like some of these even have video clips that show what a what a good presentation looks like you know look at those things and if that interests you um, see me and I can point you in the right direction if you are currently an introduction to business this one would be a perfect one for you to compete in because you will have done everything ahead of time just by taking that class so consider that um, interview events, um, get future business leader, which for those of you that have been in FBLA for a few years here, that might be one you'd want to consider. Go ahead and check it out and look at it and the materials. Job interview, Alex Ernst competed in job interview last year, so if you want to ask him some questions, that'd be good. Um, if you are in ADM 122, this would be a good one for you to do because you will have created your resume and your letter of application in that class and those are really the two big things that you need to have done ahead of time. So if you're in ADM 122, this would be the one that you would want to consider. Um, speech events. We've had students compete in these before. Um, Jacob Till, um, his freshman year, got third place. He just missed going to nationals. Um, in public speaking one is freshman year, so you can talk to him about what that event is, is like. And you can click these links, too, and see the videos, okay? Presentation events with equipment. Uh, electronic career portfolio. If you are in ADM 122, that might be one that you would want to consider. Um, we will make an online career portfolio uh, using um, Weebly or Google Sites or something like that. So... Um, again, look at that if that interests you. Let me know. Graphic design. Um, I'm having my students in seventh grade work with that. Um, last year I did. Uh, this is something that you might want to consider if you're really good with working with Publisher, Microsoft Publisher, or Photoshop, or InDesign or Illustrator. So if you're in um, multimedia marketing, this might be a class that you would want to consider. Um, introduction to business presentation. Um, this one last year, Toby Giesman and uh, Kyle Ginther got first place at state and qualified for nationals in this event. There's always a different scenario, and actually for all of these, there's a different scenario um, every year. So you would just read the scenario and then apply that scenario to your project that you would create ahead of time with your team, okay? Or individually. You can do this, all of these individually or with the team. Um, Public service announcement, Jacob Till, Becca Schrader, and Cam Ray got first place in this and qualified for nationals last year. So you can talk to them about that. Um, and publication design, pretty similar to graphic design. Um, and then there's sales presentation, social media campaign. Again, click the links, see this, the description, click these links, and check it out. Presentation events without equipment. Um, Last year, okay, we've had people qualify in business ethics. Again, you're with that one, you're presented with a scenario. And then um, I'll show you the scenario. Like if you click business ethics here, uh, well, that's the competencies. Um, I'll show you where the scenario is later. Um, it is on the website. So 
uh, client service. Last year, Andrew Penniston placed third in client services so at state, so he just missed going to nationals for that. Um, objective test and team performance. We've had students perform well. Uh, last year, Toby Giesman and Kyle Ginther and Andrew Penniston got second place in banking and financial systems, and they qualified for nationals with that, so you could talk to them about what that's about. Um, and we've all, we've done well in sports entertainment management. Uh, Katie Bockenstead, Devin Keeter, and uh, Alex Ernst got first place in that at state last year. So you could talk to them and ask them about what that's like. Um, sample event materials. Let's take a look down here. Uh, sports entertainment management. This might give us a scenario that I'm looking for. Oh, this is just an example of the written test. Okay. Um, Prejudge projects and presentations. These are things that you make up ahead of time and then present. Uh, Layla Sander placed first in 3D animation. So if you're in web apps and coding, this would be a good event for you to, to get in. Uh, same thing with computer game and simulation programming. Uh, desktop application, that would be, um, again, web apps and coding. Digital video production, uh, multimedia marketing would be a class if you're in, that, that would be good for you. Website design, if you're in web design, that would be a good one for you. And then the last one here, online objective tests and role playing. Um, we've never had anybody compete in either of these, so you may want to consider doing that. You could be the first one at Bellevue High School. So now the scenarios, here's the reference guide, uh, competitive events, click here. Um, how to prepare, uh, well here, then there's all these helpful things that the Nationals has. FBLA topics, and this is from last year, but this will give you an idea. Okay, so 3D animation, Layla had to make a 3D animation that addressed this. This was the scenario. So you can go ahead and read that. Um, same thing down here. Um, Introduction to business presentation. This is what Kyle and Toby had to address. Public service announcement. This is what Jacob and Cam and Becca had to address. So just some things that um, you can look at and consider. Uh, more about Bellevue FBLA. Um, well, and then, okay, that, those are the national events. So you would pick two, okay? Um, and there'll be sign-up sheets in my room. That's how you sign up. Um, and don't, you know, this may seem a little overwhelming for some of you that aren't familiar with it, but um, students the, from the past can help you. And actually, if you take a look here, here are some photos from our trip to Atlanta this past summer. Um, any of those students can help you if you have any questions. Um, the FBLA State Leadership Conference from last year, you can see all the winners here. Any of them can help you. Um, state events are here. You just need to pick one. Uh, real quick, um, go up to FBLA. Again, you can do the sign-up form if you're interested. Our officers for this year, and if you would like to serve on a committee with any of these people, um, they are right here. Okay, Jacob, Toby, uh, Kylie, Becca, Kyle, and Peter. Okay, so talk to them and say, you know, look, I want to be on your committee. I want to, I want to be an active member of FBLA, and or ask me, and I can, I can point you in the right direction. Also, um, here's our calendar, which you'll see some things on occasionally. We're going to start selling Little Caesars. Um, uh, we're having a, a pool party here, but we'll start selling Little Caesars here in September, and then you can see when our conferences are. State Fall Leadership is here, so check that out for dates. Um, more uh, leadership na state leadership conference, and I've posted a bunch of our posted our results and a bunch of pictures, and the same thing for nationals. So if you have any questions, please talk to um, a past member or talk to me and we will point you in the right direction. Um, it's a great opportunity to join FBLA, meet people from all over the state and the nation. Um, it looks really great, your involvement in it um, just alone looks great on a resume or a job application or a scholarship application. And imagine if you would perform well, uh, that looks even better. So uh, again, let me know, fill out the um, sign up form and get $15 to Mrs. Weber and you're in.